Do you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> Keisha and I have a special guest today, Simone. Hey y'all. <laughs> Follow her channel. It's gonna be right here. Um, so today we're doing a frequently asked questions about being a vegetarian or pescatarian. If y'all don't know, I am pescatarian, she's vegetarian. So I compiled like a list of questions that uh either people have asked us or just a lot of you know frequently asked questions on the internet so i decided to you know give our take and answer those first question is what exactly is a vegetarian or pescatarian um for, for me a pescatarian is basically um someone who does not eat chicken um beef pork or turkey we still eat fish uh seafood you know things of that nature but none of the other uh proteins i just mentioned and i'll let her give her take on the vegetarian so for me vegetarian is pretty much just like the just no meat like a no meat diet so i don't eat any meat um no chicken pork beef um no seafood because a lot of people ask me well if you're still vegetarian do you eat fish no, because I'll be pescatarian <laughs> like Keisha. So I don't eat any meat, like no flesh of an animal. Um, but everything else I do eat. Second question. Why did you go pescatarian or vegetarian? Um, Honestly, when I first, first went pescatarian, I did it just to see if I could do it. I'm one of those type of people. Like, I feel like <laughs> I'm going to try and see if I can do it. And when I did it, um, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Because for one, I do still, you know, I've always loved seafood and fish anyways. And I'm from Mississippi, baby, we love our catfish. So that's really the main reason that I'm, that I'm not even vegetarian right now. Because I, I just, catfish, <laughs> I just can't. But also, I, I like the way that it made my body feel when I stopped eating a lot of those, um, you know, the chicken, uh, pork, all of it. I actually stopped eating pork long before I actually converted to a pescatarian. And also um some of the health benefits like although you know fish and you know seafood don't always have the like best like health benefits it there's a lot of like steroids and all that and we i'm not even gonna get into all that y'all can do y'all research i'm not trying to you know but yeah that's pretty much the reason why i decided to go um pescatarian okay so for me kind of the same thing um the main thing was um how long has it been it's been about okay so let me start from the beginning so it's been about it'll be eight years in this november um that i've been fully vegetarian but before then uh, i want to say like maybe 10 years ago i had like a lot a lot a lot of health issues and i was like in and out of the hospital pretty much like every month maybe every other month and um the thing is, I had so many diagnoses, like any doctor or specialist that I went to, they can never like pinpoint just one diagnosis. So it was like, oh, well, we're gonna diagnose you with this, 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 this. that's the backstory. So basically my veg me being vegetarian started for, like, it was the beginning of a health journey to like, try to heal myself on my own, like not, Mm, not really like hol holistically but just like through my diet because if you didn't know like you can heal yourself through food or like cutting out certain foods like a lot of the foods that we eat especially in America contribute to all the health issues that we have so that was the, the number one reason and then also like Keisha I did it it was just like randomly I was like hmm I'm gonna take a month and just not eat no meat and when I tell you that was like the hardest month of my life, not because I eat, I really didn't eat like red meat or, you know, like beef or pork and stuff like that. My thing was mainly seafood and chicken because I don't want to get racist, but <laughs> y'all know black people love chicken. <laughs> but yeah, so it was one month. I was just like, mm, I'm just going to see if I can do it. And then within that month, 
I noticed like a big difference in just how I feel and basically and I was tell, like telling y'all about health issues it was basically my stomach like I had really bad digestion issues and it was like just everything just kind of fell off from there like I just felt tired all the time and I just felt like shit basically so yeah main thing is health and just to see if I can do it and I stuck with it so yeah and if y'all didn't know this is actually um partially how I actually became pescatarian um I just had to throw it in there um I for one me and her met at Teladoc um <laughs> neither, neither, one <laughs> neither one of us are there anymore but we met there and she was pretty much like the first person that i um met there and like actually like kind of click with and then I, I before i had started working there i had it in my mind that i was thinking about doing uh, going pescatarian then when i'm sitting around her having a conversation i found out she was vegetarian i was like maybe that's a sign i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and do it this girl had been vegetarian for i think it was what four years at the time around like four or five yeah. yeah so yeah they actually people put you in certain places for a certain reason so i felt like that that was the reason number four the question was do you miss me <laughs> <laughs> I was about to do that. <laughs> um, number three, people always ask like, okay, you're you're um, pescatarian or vegetarian. What about protein? Where where are you getting protein from? So let me answer this question. Uh, my um, standpoint. So I also I I did say like I'm pescatarian, so I still eat um, fish, shrimp, um, you know, seafood, but I don't eat that every single day. I do still eat eggs. Um, there's also protein and a lot of other things that um, <laughs> that we have that, that y'all don't really realize. It might not be like a, a, as much as, you know, what I'm trying to say, like the meat that, you know, everybody else is eating, but like oatmeal, certain things that, you know, there's a lot of other foods. Also, the meats that, you know, y'all eat, or I'm going to say we because I still eat seafood or whatever. Well, no, we're just going to speak about the, the meats. Um, they get their protein from plants, so just throwing it out there. Um, so yeah, that's where my protein comes from. Uh, for me, it's pretty much the same thing, minus the fish. So, um, as a vegetarian, I know there's kind of like controversy, um, with vegetarians still eating eggs, but I still eat eggs as of right now. So, for me, as a vegetarian, I don't eat the actual flesh of an animal, but I eat the eggs. Sounds gross, but... <laughs> yeah so i still eat eggs from a chicken not any other kind of eggs so um that's a good source of my protein also um beans like there are so many different beans it's not just one type of bean so um you know there's lima beans kidney beans red beans black beans just all the beans so i eat that um what else do i eat uh i'm not really sure if grains is a source of protein but like he just said oatmeal i love oatmeal um and yeah and then i also take supplements um daily supplements so that does help me like if i'm not getting enough uh protein or you know vitamin source from my foods and i take supplements on top of that so it's you know i find my vitamins in everything that i eat and take well okay. <laughs> <laughs> um actually i don't um, when I first, like, w I guess, did away with it for a split second, um, but I also realized that it wasn't even really the meat that I missed. Like, for one, before I stopped eating chicken, I was real big on hot wings. I kind of, I found me a substitute. Um, if I feel like I want a hot wing or eating something, something hot, it really wasn't the chicken taste that I missed. I think it was just like the hot sauce. So, like, I'll do buffalo shrimp, buffalo cauliflower things of that sort and i don't miss it at all so yeah same for me um like i have no desire to eat meat i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything and obviously i've been doing it for eight years like after so long it's just like you taking it like you get accustomed to not i don't want to say diet because it's to me a diet is just like for a short amount of time so i guess like a lifestyle change but after so long of cutting something out 
regardless of what it is you just you really don't miss it no more so i personally know i don't miss meat and like keisha said if i feel like i want something that's like similar like like a chicken sandwich y'all know they have all these different plant-based brands um one of my favorites is morning star they should really sponsor me and probably keisha too <laughs> but um yeah like a chicken sandwich they also have nuggets i don't really i try not to get too much of the you know like processed food but you know every once in a while like i just have it in the freezer or the refrigerator if i feel like eating it but yeah i i don't miss me number five does vegetarian or pescatarian automatically mean that you are healthier no <laughs> no <laughs> so a lot of times people are like okay i want to go vegetarian or pescatarian um but they turn around and eat way more processed food they turn around and eat way more um bs more snack like just just a whole lot of bs um it does not necessarily mean that you are healthier because you're still um you're eat you're eating more of the processed foods if you're not you know picking the right um things when you're grocery shopping or when you're eating or whatever like when i first went pescatarian i wasn't healthier um I, I noticed i was eating way more fried fish i was eating way more fried shrimp i was eating way more like sweet snacks stuff like that um i don't know if it was just the fact that i wasn't i, I don't know i don't even know why but <laughs> yeah so it does not automatically mean you are healthier just because you stop eating one thing and you replace it with another right so yeah i feel the same way about whether you're ve vegetarian pescatarian or even vegan i know there are a lot of unhealthy and overweight vegans and you know any other like any other what is it called um, i know what you're saying though. any other label that you consider yourself you can still be extremely unhealthy and ooh, this first example starbucks got me in a choke <laughs> see <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> but actually, I got a towel this time because I usually get a grande. I'm trying to get better. <laughs> I got a venti. <laughs> but yeah, no, being vegetarian does not make me feel healthier. Um, I do try to make healthy choices with my food, you know, substituting things. When I first went vegetarian, same thing as Keisha. I don't know why honey buns was just like my number. <laughs> like i had to have one every day and i i don't know if it's because i felt like i needed something to replace it like he should say like you're taking one thing out but you're replacing it with something else extremely unhealthy that was nothing but sugar and it's just like i had to have one so i finally got rid of that heavy but now starbucks do me dirty so i'm trying to break that one too mm -hmm. but yeah <laughs> but yeah changing your diet does, does not necessarily mean that you're the healthiest thing walking on earth so Number six, is it hard um, when you're like eating out? For me, I don't think it is, but um, I noticed here lately, it's, I'm not gonna say it's getting harder, but a lot of times certain stuff is hidden. Like I just found out recently that what I was telling some mom, <laughs> um, the, the buffalo cauliflower, the fried cauliflower that I was getting from Buffalo Wild Wings, I did not know that they fry everything in beef fat beef shortening or whatever so technically it ain't even vegetarian but they don't even label it as vegetarian on the menu so i couldn't get mad at them but it's more so the lack of my research on it but one of my um tiktok followers actually pointed that out to me when i had posted the um posted it one day so i went and did my research the next day and you know i gave everybody a little update because i'm not gonna put out some information and then just leave everybody hanging so a lot of people didn't know that and i didn't either um but no it's not hard eating out when you actually look at the menu before you get there um when you know what you're gonna get like before you get there so you don't have to worry about okay let me see if i can get this let me see if i can get that it really ain't hard no more but like of course at first it will be but no the only thing that's hard about it is fast food but i don't really care for fast food like that anyway so yeah 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 same for me um it was hard in the beginning because i really didn't know what i had to stay away from but like he just said a lot of restaurants don't tell you how they make the food that's supposed to be like vegetarian friendly or vegan friendly or you know pescatarian friendly either um i don't know if y'all know but chick-fil-a came out with a cauliflower sandwich and i was so excited like oh my god i'm finally gonna be included in chick-fil-a anything because the only thing that i'll get from chick-fil-a when i do go is fries because that's you know the only thing 
I can well they have salads too but I might want to go to chicken yeah <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so I saw they came out with the the chicken sandwich the cauliflower sandwich and um I don't know if it was was it you that told me it's made in chicken yeah. grease yeah, yeah, they made in the fine grease. yeah so I'm like I'm glad I did not go because my mom like one day she got off of work and she was like oh I'm about to stop by Chick-fil-a and Luckily, the line was too long because I was about to ask her to get me one of those sandwiches. And she was like, the line too long, so we're just going to come back. And that same day, Keisha told me, like, <laughs> it's fried in chicken grease. So what? Like, I would have been so mad if I had an eighth. <laughs> yeah. I would have been so mad. But, yeah, basically, to answer the question, it's not hard. You just have to, like, if it's a new restaurant you've never been to, I try to look at the menu before I go there. So I'm not the one that's like, oh, well, you know, like, taking up all the time trying to order. You just kind of have to plan ahead and just you know the safe option would just be vegetables <laughs> but anytime i go to a restaurant i'm usually able to find something on the menu that that i can eat and that i trust mm -hmm. so it's not it's not hard for me now is it hard um like living or being around other people who still eat meat um for me i don't really have that issue until i go back home to mississippi <laughs> and i say that because you know, I didn't start eating the way that I eat until I moved to Texas. Of course, all my family back home, they still eat beef, pork, just everything. And, like, granted, I do still have options. Like, they'll still fry fish for me. My mama, she'll still make accommodations. But if I'm trying to eat out or anything, if you don't know, Mississippi is one of the most, uh, it's the, it's the most obese state, the, the less healthiest state in the United States, right? Really? Yeah, it is. I know that. Yep. <laughs> so there's not really any healthy options. So if I want, if I'm going for healthy, then that you know I will have to literally like in my mind pre-plan all my food before I get there because I know that like I'm, I don't really have too much of um, too many options. But like I don't, it's not really hard being around it because I do luckily have parents who do make accommodations and ask me, hey, what do you want to eat? Um, Versus I've been around some people who still eat meat that are try to force that on me. I'm not gonna say nothing negative um, About that, but yeah, no, that's the only thing that makes it kind of I guess annoying I'm not gonna say it's hard because you can't force you know me to do anything that right. I don't that I'm not gonna do <laughs> So yeah, um, do you, is it hard? Uh, no, it's not even Well, no when I first started it was because I was tempted but now it's it's not hard even if I smell it look at it like it could be right here in my face I'm mm -hmm. not gonna be tempted to eat anything so no it's not okay um, the next question is how has your body or immune system changed since transitioning this question okay so for me um, like she said earlier on I used to also stay sick all the time um, I used to stay at the doctor for something, um, literally all the time. <laughs> um, and when I, the first thing that I took away from my diet was pork. I stopped eating pork like in 2015 maybe, I don't know. And I noticed, for one, when I stopped eating pork, I started uh, losing weight or whatever. I don't know if that was the exact, um, but I also started take, like paying more attention to my, uh, my diet a little bit then. I'm saying a little bit, cause I ain't really, but yeah, I'm not going to say I automatically, like when I went pescatarian, I automatically like lost weight and all of this. But I will say that I felt better, like uh, internally, like I I have way less health problems. I don't, I don't get sick um, at all. Like the last time I just really got sick was when I had COVID. And, and I honestly, I feel like I was the one to blame for that because that same week, I was so stressed out. I was so busy. I was not eating at all. I wasn't taking my vitamins or nothing. So, I like, to this day, I still feel like that was the reason why I actually caught it. Because I had been around it and all of that. But, or it could have just been my time. Whatever. Well, not the time to die. But. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, do, I do feel much better. Um, I do feel much better. So. Yeah, so, same for me. I told y'all I had a lot of health issues. So, the first, oh, uh, I'll say maybe two months of me not eating meat, like being sh like strictly no meat, um, I lost weight really fast. I went, I think I lost maybe it was a little over ten pounds, no more than fifteen, like between ten and fifteen pounds. Um, and yeah, that was like in the first two months. 
Um, but aside from that, like losing weight was not really my goal. It was mainly just my health and my overall feeling. Um, so aside from me losing weight, I felt a lot more, I didn't feel as sluggish. Um, I also, like I get bloated really easy. So I noticed that after I eat a meal, I didn't feel like I would be full, but not like a bloated gross feeling. Um, yeah, I know that yeah. feeling that you that you feel when you eat too much, you gotta go to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't no itis. No. None of that. <laughs> like just full, but you can still like move around. You don't feel like you need to take a nap, like on Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah, those three things. Um, also, with my health issues, like I know my main thing was my stomach. I I had like really bad stomach pain. It's because I had an ulcer. So me eating like heavy meats especially red meat it didn't digest well and you know when your when your stomach is breaking down food it produces acid well my stomach produced too much acid and that's when you get an ulcer it's just a backstory um so yeah when i would eat meat it, it was just terrible like my stomach would burn for out like more than half the day and it sir do you see that man behind <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> okay, he put his shirt back on. <laughs> yeah, basically I just my overall and also my mood changed as well. Like I wasn't I don't want to say angry. I just felt like more upbeat. And I know it sounds cliche like, oh you're not eating me, so you happier. I honestly I did feel a lot happier. Like my mind, I feel like I thought like my thought process was a lot more clear. Um, it was just like an overall lighter feeling. And to throw some in there, I don't know if y'all know this, but a lot of the foods that um that a lot of people consume are linked to depression. So yes. So yeah. <laughs> Do your research on your foods. <laughs> Weird food aversions. Is that how you say that word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, y'all. I ain't slow now. <laughs> okay. Weird food aversions since going um pescatarian or vegetarian. Uh, for me, I'm going to say here recently, like I said earlier, I love eggs. And I I don't know. Like, I woke up that one morning and I fixed me some eggs like I normally do. And I, like, I literally could not eat them. Like, I couldn't stand the taste, the texture. It just really threw me off. Like, I, I was forcing myself to eat them. I thought I was going to throw them back up. I know that's TMI, but, you know, that's what we do here. But, um... I had to drown them in hot sauce for me to for me to finish them. But yeah, I think that's pretty much the only thing that like that I can think of off the bat. Well, no, I take that back. Um, when I first went, when I first said I was gonna go pescatarian, I think it was like I went for like maybe three weeks or something like that. And I ended up eating chicken again. It didn't. It wasn't the same. Like I I I just couldn't do it. So I I just kind of knew then that maybe you know that ain't for me. So what? So for me the. Uh, the only food aversion I have is to pork. Any any other meat, like if I smell it or see it, it's fine. Like it, nothing happens. But for some reason, it's something about the smell of pork, especially bacon. It smells, and this is no shade to anybody who still eats pork. It's just it's me personally. So, like if I smell bacon, it literally makes me sick to my stomach. I don't. It's like it smells dirty or something. And we know pigs are dirty <laughs> but <laughs> not even that it's just it's just the smell of it i i don't know what that is and i know there are other people um like other vegetarians or even vegans or just anybody that doesn't eat pork i've heard that from the same people so i don't know if it's like after a certain amount of time that you don't eat it it's like the smell is just it's just weird so that's probably the only food aversion that i have i still love eggs as of right now i'm trying to be completely vegan but it's a process because yeah eggs is part of my daily routine i love eggs with some avocado toast <laughs> yes <laughs> but yeah that's the only food aversion i have so is it more expensive to grocery shop um <laughs> it depends and i say that because you can still like get like regular like produce and certain frozen foods or whatever like the, the same way that you know y'all get regular produce and stuff like that um being that i don't eat like seafood like every single day i don't really think it is because i mean for one look, if you look now chicken is high 
um, pork, all of that. Like, all of that is really expensive. So, mm -hmm. I think it really boils down to knowing where you shopping at before you get there and making you a list before you get there. Like, it's really not, well, it's not more expensive. Groceries is expensive as a whole to begin with anyway. But I feel like if you map out, like, okay, I'm going to get this at this store. I'm going to get this at this store. I do that a lot because I know some stores have better produce selections, but then I have some, another store may have better frozen food selection. And I only get my um, salmon or fish from a certain place because the other place, you know, quality might not be as good. But overall, I don't think it's more expensive because everything is expensive now anyway. But it just all boils down to where you shop at. So yeah that's the main thing where you shop and then also what you buy because you know like everything that's labeled organic is gonna be like three dollars more i have no idea why but it is so it does depend on where you shop for me like where i get um most of my produce is trader joe's um don't go anywhere else yeah that's the main place i go to get my groceries basically um i still go to walmart sometimes and of course if y'all know me i love target <laughs> so those are my three places but um it's really not it's not expensive to i mean it's honestly kind of the same i think yeah it's about the same it i mean because sometimes i do buy things that's like ridiculously priced but i'm used to buying that item so I haven't really noticed any like price drop or increase in in my grocery so it's, it's about the same yeah. and also if you are like eating healthier um you know just trying to be healthy me personally i feel like um groceries are a lot cheaper than dr bills but that's just my take <laughs> on it because i mean if if you know if that's the route you're going i'm not trying to you know right it's an investment what okay. is the most annoying thing that you have heard since transitioning for me, um, people make jokes like, oh, you don't even eat or you don't even eat meat or you don't eat real food. That was the most annoying thing that I hear, real food. Like, is the food that I'm buying at the grocery store fake food? Because I'm using <laughs> real money to pay for it. So, you know, but that's really the most annoying thing that I've heard because, you know, I guess normally when you're like the outcast or you're doing something different from other people, they're going to criticize it, but you got to learn how to just ignore that. And a lot of times people don't really be meaning to harm depending on who the person is coming from, but stop playing with me. Right. <laughs> yeah. And to piggyback off of that, I feel like people that make jokes or like constantly have something to say is because they honestly want to be where you are like it takes a lot of strength to completely change your like in any aspect it takes a lot of strength to change something about your lifestyle but especially you know growing up you know into your mid-20s and just completely cutting something out that's not very easy so i feel like when people make jokes or like i said i always have something to say is because they feel like oh well you know he or she they doing it like look at me that's how I look at it, but uh, the most annoying question I get is, it doesn't really annoy me as much now, but um, he would basically ask, well, what do you eat? <laughs> I eat... <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Man, food, bro, what? Food, like, what? Like, I'm thick. I'm not skinny. I eat food. Like, I don't understand, like, why people ask that. I mean, I get it, because they... Because... You know, I feel like especially in the United States and like a lot of, um, you know, southern states, we, we eat meat. Like there's barbecue, like some states are known for their... Especially in the South. But yeah. And so that's just like the main thing of our meals. So I feel like maybe that's why they say that or they feel like all we eat is sides. But no, that's not the case. I, you can make a full meal out of anything that's not meat based. So... Yeah, that's that's honestly the most annoying question to me. What would you tell someone who is considering transitioning? For me, I would tell them to, um, for one, have a plan, especially if you know that. Not saying that you're weak-minded, but it's really a mental thing. It, really, every decision that we decide to make is is mental. It's more mental than just like doing it. Like you have to have your mind made up. Like, hey, I'm doing this, and make sure you know why. And also, the main thing is. To not get sidetracked by like temptation, don't let 
other people's negative opinions make you you know regret your decision or change your mind about it just because they don't they're not going to do it or it's not something that they you know want to do because it's your life at the end of the day so yeah that's really what i would say so yeah i would say um same thing have a reason for why you're doing it because if you just i mean well no I, we had a reason as well but then it was also kind of just like a challenge but start with a reason and then like a challenge it, it goes hand in hand so you have a reason for doing it but then also start um not kind of small or? yeah start small like set a realistic goal don't say i'm gonna go a whole year without doing whatever more than likely that's not gonna happen because let's say you're in the first week and you're like dang i still got a whole 11 months and you know three weeks to go like set your goal realistically and then just grow from there um and yeah those would be the the major two. Oh, and also um like try to like try to change your mental before you actually start and that way you don't feel like you're missing out on something so yeah because you're not yeah <laughs> especially if that's you know what you want to do yeah well, pretty much everything um if y'all do have any more questions pertaining to being a vegetarian or pescatarian y'all can really drop it in the comments we'll respond or if it's enough questions we can do the, another video um but you know if you did make it this far and you do enjoy you know this type of this type of content make sure you subscribe um subscribe to simone channel too i did put it at the beginning but i'm putting it right here again <laughs> and um yeah so see y'all later Okay. This is what you came for. Morning, strikes every time she looks.